Hey everybody. Hi, I haven't uh, been live on Facebook for a while. Um, I know many of you have missed that um, aspect of how I um, communicate to you. And um, it's about eight o'clock on Saturday night and I've had a very, very, very uh, busy last few days. I taught uh, all day today my uh, advanced students in the 300 hour uh, yoga vidya teacher training and we're nearing the completion of that course but the reason why I want to talk to you today is uh, twofold. One is that I um, had the privilege and um, honor to spend the entire day with my teacher Rod Stryker yesterday um, at a workshop that he was giving at the yoga, yoga journal conference in New York City and uh, took the train home late last night and as always I was very inspired I uh, really feel like every time that I get to spend time with my teacher my inspiration for what I do I I just get a little on fire and um, I'm hoping that you can find a, a person or uh, an event or an activity that that really fires you up in the most positive way and most inspirational way that inspires you to be uh, uh, bigger and more um, active and more positive in the world. And that leads me to this second point, and that is that this morning I taught a master class which was open to the public, and um, I had the largest number of drop ins that I've had in probably over a year in this class, which was, which was, you know, on one hand it was great, it was gratifying. On the other hand, it was really disturbing because the topic of this class was yoga to alleviate depression and anxiety. Yeah, so that's been my most popular topic this uh, in, in the past year for these uh, this particular type of event that I teach. And um, it's a poignant reminder that anxiety, depression, all of these malaise of the mind are at a pandemic level and we really are at odds with our own mind and with our own environment um, and the, the kind of the more we sit with this the fewer solutions we're finding and the suffering seems to be increasing it's in general and so I was really happy to be able to provide a beautiful respite and a few tools for, for these, uh, you know, 30 people that, that were in this class. But I also um, would like to speak to you, uh, those of you who are yogis, who are yoga teachers, who are looking to learn more about how you can bring yoga into your life for not just the not just the you know the physical health not just the, the biceps or the, the nice cut triceps but for mental health I'm not saying yoga is an absolute panacea and a cure-all for everybody but it is without a doubt a highly effective uh, complementary modality that invites you to explore the holistic tradition of yoga and how it applies to the individual and uh, so I guess this is a bit of a, a sales plug for me to say that I want you to consider, even if you don't have plans to teach, getting involved, involving yourself, and in more deep study, authentic study of the ways that yoga not, not can just give you a nice butt, but can give you a peaceful mind, and that can in, in, invite you to enlighten others into these these techniques and these principles. I know I'm rambling a bit, but I'm exhausted. <laughs> uh, but I really was just sitting here. I just uh, kind of finished cleaning up um, and uh, unpacking from my last couple of days. And I thought, I just got to I've got to say this. Yoga works. If you are a troubled mind, if you are of um, ill health, if your spirit feels depleted, bring yoga into your life and maybe bring it into 
your life in a more formal way. Consider doing some training. Consider not just going to a weekly class, but immersing yourself in something that you can commit to and that will pay you back in spades. I really hope that um, this was helpful to you. And um, I also really hope that you continue to find things that bring lightness to your spirit and that bring peace to your mind. And I will be talking to you very soon. So um, I'm going to sign off now and uh, uh, just, yeah, that's it. I was going to do a mantra, but I'm not. I won't. Um, I hope to uh, do some more posting within the, within the next couple of days. Namaste, everybody.